Have you ever wondered how security experts trap hackers? How do they turn the tables on these cyber predators? In the vast and complex world of cybersecurity, a fascinating technique known as a honeypot plays a pivotal role. A honeypot, much like its name suggests, is designed to be irresistibly attractive to hackers. But instead of sweet, sticky honey, these pots are filled with something far more enticing, the illusion of vulnerable and valuable data. Honeypots are essentially decoy systems or servers, meticulously crafted to mimic real operational systems. They are adorned with seemingly sensitive data and intentionally made to appear vulnerable, making them a tantalizing target for hackers prowling the digital landscape. Yet, every byte of data, every simulated vulnerability, is a carefully placed trap. The honeypot acts as a digital siren, luring in unsuspecting hackers, only to ensnare them in a carefully woven web of deception. But why go through all this trouble? Why not simply build impenetrable defenses? Well, the reality of cybersecurity is that no system is ever entirely secure. There's always a risk, always a potential for a breach. But with honeypots, security experts can take a more proactive stance. They can lure in attackers, study their methods and learn from their tactics. This knowledge then fuels the development of more robust defenses, better equipped to fend off real attacks. Moreover, while a hacker is busy trying to crack open a honeypot, they're not attacking real, valuable systems. They are wasting their time and resources on a fruitless endeavor, while the security experts monitor their activities, gathering invaluable intelligence and buying precious time to strengthen their defenses. In essence, honeypots embody the art of deception in cybersecurity. They turn the hunters into the hunted, using the hacker's own thirst for valuable data against them. It's a game of cat and mouse, where the mouse sets the trap, and the cat, blinded by the promise of an easy meal, walks right into it. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into how these honeypots are actually set up. Setting up a honeypot is a delicate dance of deception and technological prowess. For those unacquainted with the term, a honeypot is like a mousetrap for hackers. It's a system designed to mimic those of real-world businesses or organizations, but with a twist. The honeypot is purposely set up with vulnerabilities that make it an irresistible target for hackers. But the moment they step into the trap, their activities are logged, monitored and analysed. Now let's delve into the intricate setup of these deceptive systems. To begin with, a honeypot must be a convincing decoy. It needs to mirror a real system so accurately that even the most discerning hacker can't tell the difference. This involves creating a network environment complete with operating systems, applications, services, and data that seem authentic. It's like building a house with all the furnishings, only to lure in the unsuspecting thieves. But it's not just about creating a realistic facade. The honeypot must also be vulnerable. It has to have the kind of loopholes and weak spots that hackers typically exploit. This could be anything from outdated software and weak passwords to misconfigured firewalls. The trick, however, is to make these vulnerabilities seem unintentional a product of oversight rather than a baited trap. Once the honeypot is up and running, monitoring becomes critical. Every interaction with the honeypot is valuable data. It can reveal the hacker's techniques, strategies and tools. It can expose new vulnerabilities and even help identify the attacker. Therefore, the honeypot must be equipped with advanced monitoring tools that can track and record every move made by the intruder. Strategically placing the honeypot within the network is another crucial step. It should be in a location that seems logical to the attacker. It could be placed in areas of the network that appear to have sensitive information or where traffic is high. However, it's essential to ensure that the honeypot is isolated from the real network. This prevents any potential spillover of malicious activity from the honeypot to actual systems. In essence, setting up a honeypot is a game of chess. It's about anticipating the hacker's moves and staying one step ahead. It's about creating a convincing illusion while keeping the real assets safe. It's about leveraging the hacker's greed and curiosity to draw them into a trap. These factors, when combined, contribute to the efficiency of the honeypot in trapping hackers. A well-designed honeypot not only lures in attackers but also provides invaluable insight into their tactics. It's a powerful tool in the cybersecurity arsenal a weapon that turns the tables on the hackers, making them the hunted instead of the hunter. With a carefully crafted and monitored honeypot, the trap is set, but how does it actually work? Well, that's a story for another scene. 
Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of honeypots. Imagine a spider web, glistening with dew, waiting to ensnare an unsuspecting prey. That's your honeypot. In the vast digital wilderness, we've meticulously crafted our honeypot, a seemingly vulnerable system designed to be irresistibly attractive to hackers. Much like a spider web, its purpose is to attract, ensnare, and hold its prey long enough for us to gather valuable information. So how does a honeypot operate, you ask? Well, let's delve right into it. A honeypot is set up to mimic a real system. It could be a server, a network, or even a database, all brimming with enticing yet fabricated data. The trick is in making it seem genuine and vulnerable, a low-hanging fruit that hackers can't resist. Once a hacker takes the bait and enters the honeypot, they believe they've hit the jackpot. They get to work, deploying their tools, exploiting vulnerabilities, and attempting to extract data. Unbeknownst to them, they're not wreaking the havoc they imagine. Instead, they're performing on a stage we've set, their every move observed, recorded, and analyzed. As our unsuspecting hacker interacts with our honeypot, we're collecting a wealth of information. We're learning about their techniques, the tools they use, their patterns of behavior, and even the vulnerabilities they choose to exploit. This invaluable data is then used to fortify our real systems, to patch the loopholes, and to stay one step ahead of the game. But that's not all. Our honeypot is not just a defensive tool. It serves a more proactive purpose. Every keystroke the hacker makes, every IP address they connect from, Every tool they deploy helps us piece together their digital footprint. This information can potentially assist in tracking them down, bringing them to justice, and preventing future attacks. Yet, it's important to remember that a honeypot is not a silver bullet. It's a tool, a very effective one, but it's just one part of a larger cybersecurity strategy. It's not about catching all hackers or preventing all attacks. Rather, it's about understanding the enemy learning their tactics, and using that knowledge to build stronger defenses. As we've seen, honeypots can provide an abundance of information about potential threats. They can help us understand the hacker's perspective, their methods, and their motivations. But the real challenge lies in analyzing this data, making sense of it, and translating it into actionable insights. It's a game of cat and mouse, a constant battle of wits. The hackers evolve, constantly devising new techniques, and we must evolve with them. That's where the honeypot comes into play, providing us with a front row seat to the hacker's performance. As with any trap, the success of a honeypot lies not just in its setup, but also in its execution. The honeypot is a deceptive masterpiece, a tool that lures the hackers into a trap, providing us with crucial information to stay one step ahead in this never-ending cybersecurity chess game. Like any strategy, using honeypots comes with its own set of risks and rewards. Let's start with the risks, shall we? Firstly, there's always the possibility that a smart hacker might identify the honeypot. If a hacker realizes that they've stumbled into a trap, they might look for ways to exploit the very system that's trying to ensnare them. This is akin to a mouse, recognizing a mouse trap and learning to snatch the cheese without getting caught. Moreover, if the honeypot isn't properly isolated, it could serve as a launch pad for further attacks, potentially compromising the entire network. It's like inviting a burglar into your house, hoping to catch him in the act, but forgetting to lock your valuables away. But let's not forget the rewards. For one, honeypots significantly enhance security by acting as decoys, distracting hackers from your real systems. They're the scarecrows of the cyber world, if you will. Additionally, they provide invaluable insights into hacking techniques. Every interaction a hacker has with a honeypot is a lesson in their methods, their tools, and their strategies. It's like being given a peek into the enemy's playbook. And let's not forget the potential leads on hacker identities. While it's not always possible to unmask a hacker, every bit of information collected brings us one step closer to identifying them. Despite the risks, the honeypot remains one of the most potent weapons in a cybersecurity expert's arsenal. After all, in the game of cyber warfare, sometimes you have to lure the enemy into your territory to win the battle. The world of cybersecurity is a fascinating one, filled with intrigue, danger, and innovative solutions. The journey doesn't end here. It's a vast field to explore, and you have the power to safeguard your own digital realm. Empower yourself with more knowledge and understanding about this ever-evolving landscape. Remember, knowledge is your best defense. If you found this video interesting, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the captivating world of cybersecurity. Stay safe and stay informed.